of the reckon you get Moscow go, Munich go, Tel Aviv go, Amsterdam go, Copenhagen go. I mean, try to wrap your head around that uh, 2.4 million visits <laughs> for it to go annually. I mean, twice the native population. Uh, and compare this to 1966, when Eddie was the only non-native tourist in the whole state. Well, uh, what honors are being heaped up uh, for Eddie for putting Go on the world map? None. <laughs> Ironically, uh, yeah, the day before he was cremated in Anjuna Beach, the uh, Tourism Council uh, agreed best not to honor Eddie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They made a sort of trivial cartoon character out of him. He's such a poor image for street tourism. Well, back at you, oh. nationalistic, straight, uh, war demented fuckers. So. How about your uh, demon damned uh, Kashmiri conflict? Massacre going on right now. What about those hotels in Bombay, huh? Right now. Uh, so, is making war not love? Oh, yeah. Make war, huh? We love like better than making love. You know? Preferred tourist image. You know? Well, these endless uh, charter flight, boring party crashers, weak isolated in spirit uh, compared to tough overland uh, India freaks. The essential point I'm trying to make is that these charter hordes will not mingle with the Goans who serve them. Imagine, okay, here's an example, a British kind of soccer hooligan, non-stop. Uh, London go taxis from the airport to his British themed and owned guest house on Anjuna Beach. British beer, British soccer pennants for decoration, British music. Uh, and the highlight of his 14 day charter flight to uh, go excessive alcohol. Yahooing, shooting pool, getting sunburned like a lobster. And, you know, this is British love. Probably won't even get laid, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mass trash tourism, uh, police intimidation of rite of passage goal ravers is rampant. Many of these gappers, you know, in the gap between high school and starting university, they're budget travelers. Young, innocent teenagers, and uh, whew, finally free from their parents in the straight nations. So, so uh, then after a rave, a rave at a beach cafe, uh, they get busted on the beach for a few grams of hashish by undercover marks, yeah. And their grand adventure in Goa turns into a cough. Ask a nightmare. Got a few thousand bucks, kid. Maybe you'll get your passport back. Mm. Remember? Swiss Pacal at the Bump Shankar Cafe? Yeah. Go, police started busting and milling uh, world travelers uh, for money in 1984. Mm -hmm. Well, just for example, right now, uh, in this season, when I'm interviewing Eddie, um, um, please bust a couple of travelers on the beach for a few grams of hashish, uh, British guy, Danish girlfriend, 74 grams of hashish, 
uh, between them. They panic as they get arrested, give false names, but soon, you know. They've got their passports, so uh, here's uh, the, the nightmare sinks in. Hold off to prison. Go, go, go. Oof. Look, at, there's no health or uh, ethical <laughs> issues involved in these minor busts. Uh, or not addictive, marijuana. The hardcore motivation is simply to extort money from budget trialers while protecting a sterile, alcohol-only image, a safeguard to big money coming in uh, off those jumbo jets. Yeah, mass trashers and yeah. This evil industry, uh, sniffing out hashish and uh, ganja for money. <sighs> That's been rampant in golf for the last uh, 24 years now. Seems absurd, but uh, I am wise to absolutely refrain from smoking marijuana or hatch each while I'm here. Uh, not even one puff. I'm more free to smoke uh, marijuana in California with my legal medical marijuana certificate prescription. In California, I can have uh, a 500 grams of uh, marijuana at any time. No worries. Besides that, the two-faced police in Go uh, deal drugs amongst themselves on a daily basis. So, regularly makes the go in newspapers. Uh, uh, for instance, I just read, a call and go policeman was arrested with 750 grams of pure heroin. I uh, got a first Indian Army buddy up us in the war zone there in Kashmir. Hmm. 